everybody, welcome back to Jamia's Promo, and today we'll be talking about the screen recorder that is built into your Samsung Galaxy Note 10 devices and going over a few settings that you probably didn't know was there. Now, when you go inside of your screen recorder settings from the very top of your phone, it's a part of the quick settings. And if for some reason you don't see yours on the top, mine is actually just sitting right there. You can go underneath your settings here, go to your button order and just see if it's sitting on the top that you can drag down. If it's in your second page, then you can just drag it over into your first page, uh, just like I did right there. Now, let's say that you don't see that icon at all. Just go inside of your settings and underneath settings, go down to your advanced features. And then inside of advanced features, you're going to see where it says screenshots and screen recorder, which is right here. And once you open that one up, you can go inside of your screen recorder settings. And this is pretty much all it shows you. But there's a few things that was probably in some of the past devices or in other applications that you're able to do more settings. But those are actually when you're in the recording session. So as example, let's say that we just go through here. I click on screen recorder. Uh, it's going to ask you what you want it to record in terms of the sound. Now, I would usually always suggest the media sounds because if you do media sounds and mic it's going to pick up what is inside the phone but also a sensitive microphone that will pick up literally everything around you uh, and so i just kind of would go with that whole media sounds and you just start on recording now once it does the countdown the cool thing is that you're able to really record anything you want I'm surprised it even allows you to do YouTube, which means that I can just go through here, click on a video, watch it, and it starts recording. But one of the nice things about it too is that when you just go inside of your gameplay, let's say that you wanted to, I don't know, go through and play uh, this game right here, uh, it, it's able to show you everything and it sounds exactly like it does. Uh, what I mean by that is the way that you see it being shown here and any sounds that would be played off of this is literally the exact same thing. But the other thing I also want to mention is that it's really nice when you want to give somebody directions on what to do with their phone. So if my parents ask me questions like, Jimmy, I need help with doing this setting or my phone is doing this. I can just simply go through here, uh, then I can click on the settings button, and I'm going to say that you need to go into display. And then inside of display, here is the extra stuff that you might not have known you're able to do. So one of these is that you're able to draw. You can change uh, the color you want to use. So let's say I go to yellow. I'm going to be like, yo, you need to go inside of here. Uh, and then once you click on that, um, then you can do that uh, so you're able to pretty much show uh, any of your drawing and anytime that you click on that little pen it'll go away then this is the one that most people were wondering which was you know what about my front-facing camera it shows that you know in the past settings that you can change how big and how small you want a, you know, this camera to be, and people are like, why is it always showing up? Well, it'll only show up when you want it to show up. So every single time that you're playing a game, if you want to show your front face, uh, or <laughs> if you want to go to the front facing camera to show your face, you're able to do that. And then when you don't want it inside of your frame, you can just turn it off. Uh, and then let's say that you wanted to go through and you still needed to, you know, show how to do things. You'd be like, yo, go inside of the vivid screen, uh, and then just tap on the pen. Once inside of vivid screen, then you're going to want to choose this one because sometimes you can circle things and people don't really know exactly you know what you just hit because a lot of times if i say hey you're going to go inside of here and then when i tap on something they might not see that i you know which one of these i tap so that's where this whole pen comes into play that's where this whole front facing camera comes into play and then whenever you are finished you just hit on the done now it'll be saved inside of your gallery and then once you go inside of the gallery you're going to scroll down and it should just be underneath screen recordings then you go inside of your screen recording and it's going to play exactly what you just saw it's it's such a great resolution the sound sounds good uh and everything just you know looks the way it's supposed to look now if we scroll through here um this is where we were talking about the whole pen goes there and then it goes away you go inside of something else the pen is able to come back and i circled that it's able to go away uh and then i believe i also showed right here that the camera would pop up and so that's really pretty much the tools. The moment you click on one uh, and what you see on the screen is what is going to happen with the recording because obviously it's recording your screen. But I feel like now I am rambling. I feel like you guys probably now understand uh, a little bit more about this whole screen recorder. Uh, so if you press and hold on the screen recorder, it gets you into the settings. Again, this is how big or how small you want your camera to be. 
uh, if you turn it on uh, and then to basically hit record just tap on that little setting right there you just tap on the icon it's gonna start recording but I hope you guys have liked this video if you guys did please give this thing a huge thumbs up don't forget to hit on subscribe subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side and if you liked this video then more than likely you'll also like this video and I'll see you guys later